Hello everyone and welcome to The Break Run. My name is Frank. And my name is Kevin and today we're going to be breaking down, analyzing and reviewing Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon. So Race Through New York just opened at Universal Studios Orlando and has replaced the iconic Twister attraction. It's also the first ride to ever be based off a talk show which, and it stars Jimmy Fallon. And it's also the first ride at Universal to feature a virtual queue line system. So overall, what do we think of the new ride? It's very different. It yeah. is very, very different. So basically, like you said, it's the first ride that has the virtual queue, so the whole queue experience probably is the highlight of the new ride. Mm -hmm. But in addition, the ride you have, it's a 3D simulator, yes. and you're racing through New York with all the different sights, sounds, and smells of New York City with Jimmy Fallon himself. Um, so overall, I think it's a very great addition. I have my own personal opinions about it, but I think overall it's a great fit for the park and I think that it'll be very successful. Yeah, so let's start off with the queue with the virtual queue line system. So how it works is you basically kind of like a kind of like a fast pass, you get a return time. So you you wait in the park so you can wait and do other rides and attractions and you come back and then you go inside and you basically enter like NBC mm -hmm. Center. Mm -hmm. And which is which is really cool because for guests that's like never been to New York City and it's a really cool experience for them. Yep. I agree. And then you get, it's like you're right in 30 Rock. Everything yeah. looks exactly like it does in 30 Rock. And when you enter the queue, you receive a little card that has a different color depending on whatever your group is. Yeah. Um, so you're on the first floor of the queue and you have a little museum dedicated yeah. to the different sh um, talk show hosts of The Tonight Show. Yeah. Um, and then when directed, you go upstairs and you go up to another lobby, which you actually use your card at, right? Yeah, and it has some various entertainment. They have just videos of, of Jimmy Fallon. They have just different comedy acts. They have performers that come out and even have a meet and greet with hashtag the panda. Yeah, which so is awesome. It's like, a really cool where experience. Where do you see entertainment in a, in a queue? queue line? Like, it's, well, I mean, like on that level, on yeah. this level, it's the first time ever. Yeah. And it's great. And I mean, it's actually too good that, so basically how it works is you wait in there until they call your color card. Right. And, but sometimes it's like when you get your, when you get your color called, you just want to stay in there because it's yeah. so, so good. You don't, so basically what they, they have all these different lights and depending on your color, it'll do the NBC chime and then it'll light up your color yeah. and that's when you know it's your time to go. Um, so I think it's awesome the different entertainment that you have. Yeah. You know, they even have phone chargers for you to charge your phone while you're waiting. And like luxury couches and everything. Yeah. It's so it's really nice. So let's talk about so after you go through the after you get called, you wait on a little line and you go inside the theater and there's a pre-show. So it's kinda like any pre-show, but it's themed to, to, to Tonight Show and it stars Jimmy Fallon and everything. I thought that little pre-show was really awesome, how like they wrap basically like the safety precautions and everything. Yeah. It makes it really fun, it makes you feel like you're really in New York City and I just thought it was really cool. I even in fact like the pre-show and all the, the, the virtual queue line better than the actual ride. Yeah, a but, lot of people are saying that. And so now let's talk about the actual ride. So when Universal first announced this, they were advertising as like the first flying theater. We were like, no way, this is gonna be so cool. And spoiler, it's kind of just like a regular motion simulator. It's right. kind of just like Star Tours a bigger or... Star Tours or a bigger Simpsons ride. Yep. It, it wasn't really anything that special. Yeah. Well, I mean, ultimately, it's it's really like a love child between Minions, Simpsons, and Star Tours. Yeah. And um, ultimately, I really think for that type of ride, that is such a great fit for Universal Studios Florida. Yeah. It adds another necessary family or kids ride to that park. Yeah. But the only thing is, is that how many kids watch Jimmy Fallon? You That's know, true. It's very well done for being a Tonight Show ride and being a Jimmy Fallon ride. It's excellent. Yeah. But my big thing is like, how many kids stay up until midnight to watch Jimmy Fallon? That that's so. that that's what I thought too. But I know how the industry, how like the society is changing. Is a lot of people like to c catch up on YouTube and after yeah at, at school or at work and everything. So while I do agree with you that like the kids would obviously like a ride based off Simpsons or Minions, which has a popular IP for them. This is great because like adults and can do a more family ride and right. s still like it more than like right. this like. Obviously, would you rather ride a ride based on Jimmy Fallon or Minions? Obviously, yeah. Minions yeah. is less for, boring for us. It and, caters to the whole family, and that's yeah. a great point, too. Um, so ultimately, you're right. It does deliver an excellent family attraction, and the theme fits perfectly. Yeah. And the way that they executed the Tonight Show theme has been stellar. Yeah, absolutely. The entire it, attraction. It's very, very on point, and it pays homage to to um, just the Tonight Show, and I think what really like the guests who love the show really connect, like that they see those the popular parts of the show in the ride, and just even though like I know one criticism that you have is the ride's really random, you just it's just all over the place. Yeah. But I think 
you had to like let that aside. Yeah. They, but yeah. I think overall, even though that we 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 had fun with it, it was yeah. a good experience. I think that's what it is. The experience for the ride is fantastic. The experience is better than the actual ride itself. But I think the guests. For the general public, they're going to love it. They're going to eat it up. It's going to be one of their favorite attractions in the park. Right, and I think this kind of leads into a new kind of subject. This is really a pinnacle of incorporating different aspects of a brand yeah. within a theme park. Yeah, you know, it's free NBC, publicity for NBC. It, it Universal. is yeah. NBC in the same company as Universal, same company as Comcast. You see a giant Comcast logo yeah. on top of the ride, so it's really. It's, it's almost like broadcasting your brand. Yeah. This is who we are. We have all of this involved in us. Yeah. So do you think that we'll, with the large media company, Theme Parks Universal, Disney, do you think we're going to be seeing this more widespread brand association within the theme park industry? I think absolutely. Based on how successful this is going to be for them, I think it's going to be a good hit for them. Uh, even though we, like people have mixed opinions, it's gonna, it's a it's a great fit for them. It's what exactly they needed, and just the experience they create they created out of it. I think it's gonna they're gonna be taking advantage of it. So why not add an attraction or an experience that just furthers your brand and boosts popularity? It's gonna boost shows and interest in Jimmy Fallon and everything. It's mm -hmm. it's a no brainer. Like why why it, why wouldn't you? It opens up. We talk about IPs are so popular yeah. these days. They, this opens up a whole new library of IPs that can be used. Absolutely. Because ten years ago, you would say like a ride based off a Jimmy Fallon talk show. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, like what the heck is that? Yeah. Uh, well, here we are today. Yeah. And it's you know it is it's pretty successful. Yeah. And I think ultimately, because there's so many different channels within the brand, I, we watch the opening ceremony of Jimmy F Race to New York, and you see the Today Show is there, the Tonight Show is filming there all week. The yeah. parks are using their various channels to promote the attraction. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. It's a no-brainer. It's very smart for them. Yeah. So ultimately, I think both of us agree this is way better than Twister. You know. <laughs> I, I still love Twister. It has yeah. that. But yes, it, as know. an attraction for the park, it's a much better attraction. Now, let's just dive into one last topic here. Now, yeah. you mentioned that um, Jimmy Fallon is the first ride to have the virtual line. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to be seeing this virtual line come to Volcano Bay with the Tapu Tapu wearable. And now Disney's testing out Volcano Bay, the virtual queue line system. And so I think like what you're going to yeah. ask is where are we going to see this virtual yeah. queue line go? Where the heck is this going? I think it's, it worked so well. I think it's just going to skyrocket at the parks. You're going to, so at the dry parks too and the water parks? I think everywhere. I think they're just going to keep on testing it and pushing it until it, it's worked out so well, so why wouldn't you? It, it's genius. Whoever thought that, you could have an attraction, but not wait in line for it. And yep. it, it, it's, it's a no-brainer, and just how everyone's always on their cell phones, Disney has the magic bands. It's just where society and the theme park industry is going, so they're gonna take advantage of that. And there are some criticisms, I mean, that how could you really have a virtual queue line for all the rides in the park, where's everyone in the park gonna stay? Because mm -hmm. kind of queue lines are, like capacity. like capacity management. Yeah, because yeah. everyone waits in the queue line. They're not in the park. But if you have everyone, is, if you have like ten thousand guests that are in waiting in line, and you just put them out in the park, where, where are they all going to where are they going to mm -hmm. go? So I think it works for some rides, but I'm not sure how like a whole park. Yeah. Or or or, or whole park that's old. Yeah. I think it's going to work good well at Volcano new Bay. Parks. Yeah. yeah. If you see new parks built for this, and I think. Water parks, this works very well at because yeah. water parks, you can just stick them in the wave pool, stick them in the lazy river, yeah. you know, stick them on the lounge chairs. Yeah. So final thoughts, I think that while the ride could have been a little better, the experience, they knocked that out of the park. This right. is a great attra attraction for Universal. It's exactly what they needed and they executed it perfectly. Right. Absolutely. They did the best job that they can do with the story and theme that they were trying to convey. Yeah. So kudos to them. But if have any of you have had the chance to ride it, please let us know your experience in the comments below. If you haven't had the chance, what do you think of Jimmy Fallon be having his own ride? And what do you think of Virtual Line coming to theme parks in the future? Yeah. Let us know. As always, thank you so much for watching our videos. Please click thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube for more upcoming theme park videos. Thanks so much for making us a part of your day. We'll see you next week. Bye.